learn beekeeping four things that can be learned yes it is tikida again from guide to beekeeping that info and we're going to talk about four things that can be learned about beekeeping so let's go honeybees types there are a lot of honeybees types and if i wanted to mention four common honeybees types i will talk about the apis florais the apis mellifera the apis dorsata and the apis serena the pronunciation might not be the the exact one but um i think that you'll pretty much recognize the one I'm talking about if you were to uh, read them somewhere else. When we talk about the Apis florae, we're talking about a small bee. I mean, it, it, when it uh, when we talk about uh, its size, it is a, these bees are smaller than the other ones. And in fact, they're also called dwarf bees. So the Apis florae bees are not easily domesticated as they don't tolerate uh, disturbances a lot and they don't keep a lot of excess honey so these are not necessarily the best bees that you want to work with you have also the apis uh, dorsata the apis dorsata is quite um, similar to the apis florae but not in terms of size more in terms of behavior as the apis dorsata can also abscond meaning that it can leave its hive when it is disturbed so um, these two types of bees, the Apis florae and the Apis torsata, build single comb hives that can be found suspended uh, from trees. So suspending a, a hive on a tree will uh, can serve as a protection against uh, any, against bigger predators. So now we can move to the two other honeybees types, which are the Apis uh, mellifera and the Apis serena. The Apis mellifera as well as the Apis serena are bees that are more easily, do easily domesticated. They build parallel comb hives that can be found inside cavities. So these bees, and one of them in particular, is quite um, is an active pollinator and covers a very a wide area compared to the three other honeybees types. So now we can move to the beekeeper tools. So this subject is an important one because beekeepers use i mean in general when we see a beekeeper the way we recognize him is him or her is because of the suit in particular and the suit is is one tool that uh, that is proper to beekeepers but it is not the only one because you also have the netted veil the gloves the boots the hive tool the smoker the the keeping fork for example when we talk about the smoker as well as the suit the netted veil and um, and the uh, the gloves, per, for example, we're talking about tools that are more turned toward providing security to the beekeeper, providing him or her with some safety. But when we talk about the hive tool or the incaping fork, these tools are more used to work on the hive. Um, when it concerning the the hive tool in particular, the hive tool in particular permits to remove propolis or glue, natural glue from sections of the hive. And the encaping fork will be useful when comes the time for the extraction of honey because the cells filled with honey will be capped by the honeybees and the beekeeper will have to open these cells with the encaping fork in order to extract this honey. The backyard beekeeping. Perhaps you think about doing backyard doing beekeeping in your backyard. If it is the case, you're likely to need or to want to have some information about things that you should do in order to keep bees in your backyard in um, in what is seen as a proper way so things that you could do to do backyard beekeeping are to raise a fence of at least six feet tall and provide water to your to your honeybees the beekeeping hive there are more than one beekeeping hives but when we are in uh, when we talk about the US in particular you might see that the Langstroth beehive is quite popular and you shouldn't have too much problems finding one. The Langstroth beehive has been named after L. L. Langstroth uh, in, uh, I think it was the, it was done in 1852 and this hive in some ways turning point from some barbaric methods of uh, getting honey that were practiced in the past such as cutting down trees just to get the honey and cutting down a tree where bees are living can kill them. So this is something about the beekeeping hive Next, for a free email course about beekeeping, you can go to guide to beekeeping.info and subscribe by entering your first name and your email address at the bottom of the page and then clicking on the button. After that, you'll have to confirm the subscription by going to your email address and clicking on the confirmation link. 
Perhaps you want to do more than that. If you want to do more, you can go to guide to beekeeping that info slash ebook to learn about the beekeeping guide. So this is it. I wish you a very good day. Bye.